To start this video, there will be 16 minutes of me running Mana Storms 1108 to 1111 in the background where I die at the end. I may not talk through the whole thing, but it will be there if you want to see it. So I noticed a distinct lack of Mana Storm content on YouTube. People not sharing advice about how to push and what to do in the builds that are usable. So here we are. Let's talk affixes. Starting at 100, you will get a map affix. This is one of four things. A large meteor that falls in your head, doing somewhere between 25% and all of your health. Uh, little pink comets that rain down and deal next to no damage, but will piss you off when you have to stand still for a second. Creeping frost, which is icy ground that damages you over time while you stand in it, that will also piss you off if you have to stand still for a second. And a dimensional rift that spawns two adds every minute that will get stuck in place around 50% of the time. Out of these affixes, the Dimensional Rift is the most dangerous, uh, as it spawns monsters with affixes just like regular mobs, and can spawn any time you think you're safe. Uh, then starting at 500, you will get a second affix, and a thousand, you'll get three. In the video in the background, I'm dealing with three as I'm pushing a little over 1100 at the moment. Uh, I can only assume that at 1500, you will have to deal with all of them. So you may ask, what kind of builds you should run for Mana Storm? The answer is simple. Healing. Anything anything that heals. All, all of it. You want as much healing as physically possible. Uh, anything that can heal you significantly while dealing damage and, and, you know, killing mobs is insane. As of current, damage reduction is not affected by a lot of the affixes, including damage reduction cooldowns like Divine Protection. Uh, some of them are dealt with by getting large amounts of resistances, like the spores. Uh, if you get a lot of nature resistance, you can almost completely negate the damage from this. But the blood storms will always do a percent health of damage to you, so finding a way to deal with the damage is always going to be the way it works. Or heal the damage, I guess. Unless this has changed, but I'll pin it in the comment underneath if it is. Uh, my current build is this. It's a version of Corrupted Maelstrom Weapon that uses fire damage, ignite, 100% crit, and most importantly, soul leech with the mystic and chance to make that 15% healing 30%. So in essence, I heal for 30% of all damage I do with Chaos Bolt and Chaos Meteor, which can have some silly numbers like this. There are also a few tips that are very important to keep in mind. Blink. Blink away from all of your problems. Seriously, Blink is the single most overpowered spell in Mana Storms. Get two of them. Get Shimmer, get Unchained Blink, get Blink. Not Fairy Blink, that one sucks. That's unless, unless you're using it for damage, but that's different. Uh, <laughs> basically, being able to blink away from the affixes that are dropping from the mobs is really important. Especially if you kill multiple mobs at the same time, um, like you see in the back of, background. So basically... You want to blink away from the pack of mobs that you just killed so that you don't get gripped back by the tornado that also has another 11 tornadoes beside it and 18 bone storms collapsing on you and 8 lightning effect rods and 100 mana sucking balls. Uh, ma mushrooms stuck to your ass and a gorilla ground pounding your ass that makes for a bad time. Don't, don't do it. So get the fuck out of there. Blink, heroic leap, sprint, demonic leap, hell, even shadow step and grappling hook. You need to get away from that. Those affixes are the leading cause of stage 12 insta-death colon cancer, and they are there to give it to you. So get away as fast as possible and make some death distance. Uh, with an update about, about a week ago, a lot of the really bad monsters have either been removed or reduced. Uh, but it's still good to keep in mind what is important to kill and what isn't, as there are some really important ones to focus down. Uh, for example, healers. There are some mobs that will chain cast heals that bring little Timmy the Bile Bitch that's been fucking your health bar uh, to full health in a single damage, and will do so every 0. Point fuck you seconds. That's the answer. So kill them. Kill them as fast as you physically can. I'm, I'm looking at those Crimson Initiates spam casting flash heal. Fuck you guys. Specific mobs are also overtuned in specific maps. I think it has something to do with the gear that they take, because if they replace a mob in the map, they will be wearing the gear from one of the other mobs in the map. I, at least I believe that's how that works. I've seen some of them wearing weird weapons, like raptors holding swords. Uh, but sometimes you'll see mobs like a Defias Wizard, 
and he'll just be casting a fireball and you'll be like, ah, that's fine. But then it hits you and your face gets melted to the ground and as it instantly cleaves your health bar in half, like Ragnaros took control of that spell specifically and decided it was your time to eat the dirt. There are a lot of these mobs and the list really only gets larger the farther you go, so you'll have to keep an eye out. Having details open to damage taken can allow you to see what is skull fucking your health bar. However slow it may be to see that, so it's probably a good idea to keep that around. As of yet, I haven't really been one shot outside of reflective effect, which, uh, that's my own stupidity. Uh, keeping an eye on a few maps, there are a few that are very, very bugged, or just I will leave because I know I can't complete them. Uh, a few of these are Houndmaster Loxy, who was not fixed, by the way, even though they said he was. And if you do too much damage to him, he will summon a... he will get mad and summon an army of dogs that will tear you apart faster than you can ask how it happened. Another is one of the Dire Mole maps. There's an elite pack of scarabs that are replaced by a massive pack of around 30 elite mobs that are all scaled like they would be. And at a certain level, that many mobs will just kill you. Unless you're a tank. In which case, fuck you, but also great. You won't die. As for rewards from pushing, here is what I got for a whole five levels. At the end of the day, going slowly will be how you push Mana Storm level. Knowledge of the maps, mobs, and general layout will also help immensely, but are definitely not 100% required. Well, I hope this was at least a little helpful. Let me know if this helped you at all, or if you still have any unanswered questions. Enjoy the rest of the video, and I have no idea if I'm going to make more. Peace.